hello everyone in today's video i am going to show you guys about how you can create this type of dom in revit using the magic technique you just need to learn this process and using this method you can create many different type of dom designs but before we start let me ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime so now let's start open new architectural template file then go to messing and site click on in place pass place a reference plane in the floor plan like this then assign a name to it i am going to name it one then go to south elevation and then on the level one, uh, uh, one reference plane uh, click on this draw work plane and place a reference line like this you can create any type of shape but uh, as this is uh, I'm going to create a simple dome so I'm, I have selected this arc and I have pasted it like this make sure that this arc does not connect with the reference line meaning it does not attach with it and then select this uh, arc and the reference line and click on create form then click on this dome and now you can see that the dome has been created in the massing mode now go to level one and in here place a reference plane from the center like this then place an other reference plane from this point like this and and then at a distance of 8 feet from the other reference plane then mirror this reference plane towards the other side and before placing the points I am going to place a line on this reference plane in the floor plan so that I know the dimensions now select this point and then click on draw on work plane and then place three points like this then select this point and go to 3d front view and drag it upwards along the z axis with the help of this blue arrow okay so now uh, click on this supply through points and then connect these three points and make sure that you have selected the uh, uh, drawn face icon then connect these lines with the help of supply so that it becomes one entity then uh, create void form like this and then in the level one floor plan drag it to meet the other reference plane in the 3d select this complete void with the help of tab button on keyboard and then select this rotate command place this rotation icon in the center then check this copy icon and then rotate like this at 90 degrees now go to 3d and you can see a cut has been created then using the cut command create a cut on towards towards the other side as well and now you can see we have created an arches on here then select the supply and throw points again make sure draw on face is selected and then draw like this place this uh, supply line on this opening as shown in the video in the floor plan uh, place some lines like this now place some points Make sure that you place like this on the lines and then in the center 
now place one line in the center again select the point element and make sure drawn work plane is selected and then place again okay, three more points like this In the 3D, select this point and move it along the z-axis. Like this. Drag this blue arrow. Then select this point element and again drag it upwards like this and then draw a line so that this point is has aligned with the other point move it along the green axis like this delete these lines as we don't need them anymore then select this subline through points and make sure draw on face is selected then connect these three points then uh, these three points to create these lines now select uh, these three of them and click on create form so now you can see you can create uh, form by selected these selecting these three lines uh, but for this dome I'm going to move these two points a little bit uh, a, a little bit closer to the other points and I can also move these two points like this in the floor plan Adjust these points with the help of these arrows according to the design. Now select these three supplies, go to level 1 floor plan, and mirror these lines from the center like this. again go to 3d and select these three go to level one and mirror like this and again mirror it like this so that now we have lines on all of the four sides now select these three and click on create form repeat this process on the remaining three sides and now we have this basic shape uh, exit the mass mode Go to Messing and Sides, select this wall by face command and sign walls to this mess one by one. Don't worry if this error occurs. Uh, simply select this wall and in the level 1 floor plan mirror it select this wall on the arch mass because it does not it does not meet correctly with the other wall and then uh, select this location line as the finish face interior so that it has a good connection so repeat this step on all the other sides and then assign a material to the wall of your own choice and that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query 
related to rabbit you can email me i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe